Jesse here, and today's video is highlighting another cool project that's coming to Santa Cruz as part of the downtown expansion plan. Today, we're traveling to 215 Beach Street across the street from the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. It's actually a historic spot, so I'm gonna share a little history about this area first, and then I'm gonna go into detail about what they're doing to develop it. So in 1926, the La Bahia was built as a 45 unit luxury condo development by a man named William C. Hayes. He is known for being the professor of architecture at UC Berkeley. He's known for many famous buildings around California, notably uh, the Buddhist temple in Fresno, the first Presbyterian church in San Francisco. Well, over the years, that place kind of fell into disrepair. It was bought by the Seaside Company, which is the parent company for the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, and they used it to house a lot of the workers. Now, fun fact is I used to hang out here at the La Bahia. My first job was at the Beach Boardwalk when I was 14, I was a ride operator. And the Beach Boardwalk hired a lot of people from around the world. They would have 18, 20, 22 year old students from all over Europe, from many different areas, and they would house them all at the La Bahia. And I made a lot of friends with these people. And so after work, I would bike on over to the La Bahia and hang out, and they would have parties. And it was just such a cool time in my life because it's such a young age, I was 14 at the time, I was meeting all these kids older than me from all around the world and hanging out with them and I just felt so cool and it was such an eye-opening experience. And so I have all these really fond memories of the boardwalk in the La Bihia and I was really sad to find that it just kind of fallen into disrepair and the, and the windows were boarded up and there was news that they were gonna probably demolish the building. But the cool thing is, is that the Seaside Company, which owns it, is not demoing the entire thing. They actually have demoed everything except the bell tower, but in its place, they're building a 155 unit luxury hotel and spa, and they're gonna preserve the original feel of the La Bahia and basically design the hotel around that bell tower and really make it like an upscale La Bahia and really relive its glory days. Instead of being a condo development, it's going to be a resort. Now I think the Seaside Company is making a really smart move here because they are going all out in this development. They are partnering with three other companies to make this hotel happen. They're gonna be partnering with Ensemble, which is a hotel development firm. They have done really cool projects around California, notably the Bernardus Lodge in Carmel and Hotel Nia in Menlo Park. Those are some really upscale developments they've done. They're also partnering with Forrest Perkins Luxury Hospitality Design Group. Now, this is a group that basically designs the interiors of fancy hotels all around the US. They've done Four Seasons, Ritz Carlton's in Washington DC, LA, San Francisco, Dallas, Nashville, all around the US, and they do top-notch work. Their hotels look beautiful. And they're also gonna be partnering with an architectural firm called Letty, Matum, and Stacy. Now this is an award-winning architectural firm known for their really, really futuristic kind of green designs. They've done hotels, they've done museums, they've done universities, luxury apartments. So these four entities are basically gonna be kind of a dream team. Now this dream team is coming together to preserve the heritage of the original La Bahia, but do it in the form of a luxury hotel and spa instead of a condo development. But they're retaining the original name and they're calling it the La Bahia Hotel and Spa. Now I don't have a ton of information on this project because they don't have as much information as some of the other projects I've reported on, but I'll share with you what I do know. Like I said before, they're building the hotel with 155 units. They're gonna have an underground garage that fits 300 vehicles for employees and guests. And from what I've read, they're gonna have three restaurants and four bars in this hotel. They're gonna have a street side casual restaurant with a bar. They're gonna have a chef inspired restaurant with an upscale bar. They're gonna have a signature lobby champagne bar. 
And then they're gonna have a poolside cocktail lounge with a restaurant there as well. One thing I love about this project is the rooftop pool. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm a sucker for rooftop pools. And if there's a location to have one, it's here on Beach Hill where you can look out over the ocean and watch on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, the sailboats and the yachts race. It's just gonna be a beautiful location to have that. And you add a cocktail lounge to that up there and it's just, it's gonna be amazing. Some other amenities, they're gonna have banquet halls, um, ballrooms, and the showpiece of this whole resort, according to them, is going to be a Moorish inspired saltwater bath, which is going to be a modern interpretation of the historical salt baths of Santa Cruz's storied past. This is one of my favorite projects coming to downtown Santa Cruz and I really think they're gonna knock it out of the park. I love how the Seaside Company is partnering with three other entities to really make this hotel the best it can be. I love that they're preserving the feel and parts of the original La Bahia for my own sentimental reasons and for the fact that I think remembering your history and celebrating your past is important and Santa Cruz has a history worth celebrating. I think this is gonna bring a lot of tourism dollars to this city and I think it's gonna be beneficial for everyone here in this town. Hats off to the Seaside Company for not just selling this land to the highest bidder but actually investing your own time and resources into making this happen. I think that's important that we take pride and ownership of the land here in Santa Cruz. And this is a cool development, really excited about it. And I can't wait to be poolside on that rooftop deck with a nice drink in my hand. Um, if you found value in this video, please show me a like and subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be sharing uh, real estate news here in Santa Cruz. I'm gonna be sharing stuff about the city and the town. And if you guys have any kind of requests on what you would like to see videos on, please let me know. This is Jesse Collins with Collins Properties. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay awesome.